So these are some approval rules here. So uh, let's say if I want to go to manage journal approval rules. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, list of approvals. Let's scroll down to GL to see the journal approvals. Uh, you want me to go through these tabs again? Uh, no, assignee, I know. Data is what is the data is like. Yeah, th these are the event configuration uh, uh, related. The task configuration will be related to event. Uh, right. We are not covering, yeah. Yeah, I know. Assignee, we assign all the emplo uh, employee supervisor or everything in the country. Yeah. Assignees and basically uh, would take you to the task configuration. So these are all the seeded approval stages. Right. And, and uh, we can choose one of the rules and edit those. All right. What is in the data? Data is uh, uh, data driven uh, configuration. So that's not available here uh, for us to do anything. Okay. So yeah. deadlines is uh, what's my due date, escalation, if I want to set any uh, notification is uh, if if the task is in the completed state, let's say, whom should I inform? Should I inform the initiator? Yes. And how should my editor, if, they, if I want to ch make changes to any notification header? Uh, access. So who, who has access to what? And uh, so let's say who can see the history of the task? in the contents. Everybody can see that. All right. Mm -hmm. And task configuration. So what is my assignment and routing policy, completion setting, pre-approval, etc. So if I, if I take you to the assignees, mm -hmm. uh, I want to cover So currently you see uh, I can go and edit these. Mm -hmm. If you see my edit icon is disabled and these icons are uh, enabled. The undo, uh, save and commit. Mm -hmm. Which means uh, I can go ahead and make changes here. Otherwise essentially it has to be, uh, let's see if I try and commit it here. Or or not commit. I'll just say so now my task, if I select that task and then edit, I should be able to configure the uh, GL journal approval rule. So uh, let us uh, rewrite this rule, mm -hmm. the manager approval rule. Mm -hmm. What uh, I will say is add a rule to this supervisory journal approval rule set. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I what I basically want to achieve is the same thing that uh, if, if the if my approval is uh, less than let's say a thousand or a five hundred I want to enable action uh, auto action if it is more than that I I want to take it to the supervisory hierarchy right yeah so let's do that then so I'll 
से so i added a rule from here oh okay should i okay should i redo it i'll redo it So here is the seeded rule. I expanded. So there are two things here. One is expand the rule. Mm -hmm. So this will show you whatever is uh, set up there. And the other is hide the advanced settings. So once you enable the uh, once you so it should it shows like this then when you open the advanced settings you see there is something called active so if i keep this as active as checked my rule would be active if it is unchecked this rule becomes inactive so right now i'm going to write a rule in which i'm saying that this is active hmm So, um, I add a rule, and this is the rule name. So, in so in activating the seeded one and adding the new one, right? Yes. Yeah. and then I expand here yeah. uh, in the if I collapse the advanced settings you you see there is a if, con, if and then condition right mm -hmm. in the if condition you have a cut copy paste that's enabled which you will see and then you have some selected tests also you can perform but these are the advanced settings we are not going to use them for now just learn to write some simple rules so what we are saying is uh, if so first thing that we want to check is our uh, journal uh, ledger uh, uh, our journal uh, bad uh, our ledger should be enabled for basically approval right mm -hmm. if i say journal batch so you see journal batch here so journal batch and what should we if our journal batch ledger so these are the various dimensions here journal batch currency code journal batch ledger currency code so let's say if i want to see that my uh, if my this if the ledger is enabled for the certain currency let's say usd 
and we want to enable it uh, set the approval for USD currency only. So then we'll say journal batch ledger dot currency code is USD, hmm. right? But first we want to see if my journal batch ledger dot hmm. enable JE approval flag. Mm -hmm. If that is a yes, then Okay, it is approved. Yes. Approved is enabled. Okay. Yeah. If it's enabled, yeah. Then I'm going to add an action. What is the ad, uh, action? I'll say add uh, approval and you can say if I want the supervisory hierarchy. So my list builder becomes supervisory. Mm -hmm. My response type is required number of levels is one right. and what is my starting participant who is my starting participant the task creator right right so how are we going to write that uh, we are saying let me let me Go back and here in this connection itself, I want to add another simple test. I'm adding a simple test again. In that, if my journal. Batch amount Take this one total accounted credit, or do you see this something called a total amount? Okay. It should be the debit or credit rate. So, if my running total credit oh, it's is so it's there is a credit amount and not a debit or anything. I'm sorry? So what is the meaning of total accounted credit? Means it's the credit side of the amount? Yes, yes. 